Hello everyone, it was Leonidas here for part 12 of our Imperator Rome Sparta Let's Play. Now picking up where we last left off, we had conquered almost all of Crete and all of the islands and we're building quite a formidable empire. We had taken these awkward swaths and now we find ourselves kind of waiting for our next big war. We're going to try to rebuild a lot of our forces and move on from there. But the disloyal characters, see if we can maybe make friends with them. I'm gonna bribe him. See if that helps at all. Kios. Up the offer. I don't know who they're at war with. I have no idea who that is. This game is getting more and more interesting. Oh. Uh, I think it's this one. It's an interesting little war going on there. For our next big decision, is trying to figure out which war route we're going to go. We're trying to build our military again, but we're trying to decide if we are going to go after Epirus in Boeotia, uh, which would be this land and this corresponding land as well, or if we would look to go after some of Macedonia again, or the potential roads, Epidurus, Ionia, So it basically be these places plus this one right here. Now, at the end of the last part, it's been a little while since recorded, so sorry if I'm not quite as sharp as it was. Um, they are at war with Miltos, who we gave access to, and I am so proud of them. They, from this little one province, Miltos, to this big behemoth, to now probably going to win this war. Do they have a navy? They have ten ships. That's not something too disastrous. I wonder if they're guaranteeing anyone else. Ionia. Osmos? I'm not sure where Osmos is. And Rhodes. So we could go after Rhodes or Ionia. The only thing is if we go after Ionia, we might actually drag in more Yeah, there is way too strong powers sitting there. By going to war with Rhodes, we would drag in the rest, which is this small two province nation right here, which would be a pretty good game for us, along with Ionia, which we could easily strip Ionia or its two islands at least. We're gonna get that in order. I'm going to bring the ships around and we're going to embark our army onto this 25k. It's like my brain is able to math eventually. Uh, gosh, I'm not sure. Uh, 22 plus 5, so 27k, so we got about 1 more k to go on that. Here we have a lot more to go. We'll leave this army here. This is the one that needs to recover the most. And I think, honestly, we could... ...leave the embassy. Rather not. We a lot of money. We have money. We'll, we'll take the money hit. Um, we're gonna drag the army over... ...here. I'm gonna try to transport this army ahead of time over to somewhere we can strike from. Oh yeah, we, do, we have these islands still. And these islands are a pretty easy shot to roads. So we're going to do that. If I forgot to, if I remember to pause it. So 
take this 27k and we're gonna have them be on the balance here, of course. And that way they can directly attack roads right away. And the idea we're gonna have here is to get, get them quickly over across the roads. Actually, I think we have the navy advantage. Once we bring these guys over, I'm gonna redivide the navy. Or we can just do that now, actually. Okay, from there. Dots. So I'm going to bring the Navy over here first. Have them sit in this bay of roads. That way we could relatively quickly take these islands here and hopefully take some of Rhodes provinces as well. So their ally here is not going to be able to help them and the only major person we have to fear of is Rhodes and Melanie itself, but let's look at the army stream. And one, so no, they do not have enough to threaten us. Over here they have how many? Seven, so that's not nothing. We probably won't be able to use just this small stack to invade, but we'll be pretty okay number wise. We also have our little ally over here. We will definitely be able to do some work for us. And I was thinking we have another. Oh, coast. We have coast as well. But coast. I mean, coast is 4k men, which is actually not just a little lot given its size. I'm going to declare this war rather quickly um, because we cannot wait. Fabricate the main. We're going to take a fabrication of the main province. Here, the 4k here, which is already more than what we have over here. And not to mention, this 12k is going to join the world. Now, we do have unbelievably great military, which is the Navy. Unfortunately, our land forces are not going to be strong enough to really hold that war. So we can see there is a rather large contingent of men to buy up here in Epirus. If we can buy those, I'll feel very secure in our our fight down here. And once that fight down here is secured enough, 21k, that's more than enough for what we need. Uh, it's gonna be a hefty, hefty cost for us, but that would be cool. We're gonna drag these 10 ships over here. It's definitely not an ugly 
really risky gamble on my part. We are a much larger power. But I'm feeling like taking some sweet revenge on some of these smaller forces. Now I would really like Mantia to peace out Macedon and win their war already. Meet the demands. Researcher. about the score again because there's not too many pretenders or support of the This navy does need an additional. Yeah, there we go. He's got high loyalty. That's what we look for. So we're facing off against Oh my goodness, that's a lot of money from us. Come on, so they're they gonna really need to be worth it here. Um I only really should. So actually, that little island's not. This little island's not getting involved. So it's just the 12k plus the four plus the seven. So that's really not too bad. So we're dealing with basically about 23k men here, which, but these two armies will make us equal. Plus, we should be receiving some men back. Uh, unfortunately, they're taking a trip, but we'll fix that very soon. Let's declare this war. Let's go for it. tripped up why I get that they're major power so maybe that's just it. It's just that region and only roads up the region. So there you go, let's go for it. thing is we're going for roads. We split this in half, march the other half straight to roads, take the capital. Uh, that's a big guy. Uh, do they have actual men? They have a decent sized navy, is the only thing I'm actually worried about. The 13k men isn't the biggest deal because they're far enough away, but that navy strength is, is enough to be concerning. I'm hoping also that large military size will be enough to. Discourage them. Splendid, the Olympics were held. We can go to this great war. Not gonna be great. Battle at Helicarnassus. We are the loose. And we are the loose. Pretty bad thing. We're still on the past roads. I don't understand how they're transporting across the 
see when we have fully naval dominance unless this is a different node. Accept the trade with close. Split them in half and get this other half over there. Maybe that's what will save it. I mean, if not, if we even get half of that. Okay, yes, yeah, so that does block. It. So we are able to block them. We're gonna have the men retreat back. Have all of them on roads itself. I forgot I had land up here honestly so that actually works out there's two forts up there maybe they'll go after those instead I sure as hell do not want them bringing that 28k down by me perfect so we just sieged out their province so in theory I think this should be. I hope this, these would stop, but I don't know. I might not let it stop. Okay, I am not sure how they're getting away with crossing right now. We're able to take roads, which is great news for us. Okay, now we are a little bit desperate. We might want to see about building a couple more ships. Specifically, because I want to maintain the blockade we have against them, keeping them pinned on this island. But we need ships over here to make sure we have enough to carry the army back over. Just gotta be careful and make sure we don't see any large enemy forces anywhere. No, we're looking good. We sieged another capital. Ooh! So we have a tiny navy right there. Let's see if we can... Try to intercept and get involved in this as quick as possible. Okay, we should have a second Navy coming. There we go. We're able to get both of them there in time. Hopefully that will be more than enough to siege them out. We lost two ships. Uh, not the end of the world though. We're going to try to follow them as much as we can. If we knock out this Navy, then it is a pretty good position for us. They're not going to be able to do too, too much. We're going to shift these guys up this way too. Try to take this one Boatian fort right here on the Peloponnese. Great, another victory, another two ships gone. out their entire navy now. Sitting good. I want them to come on to those islands, so I need to move my navy away from here. But it looks like they keep moving their navy back. All back into one. They are sieging Athens down quite a bit. Unfortunately, we just got engaged over there, I didn't realize. It, we have them now, we should be fine. Just five ships lost is not a deal. Okay, cost. There we go. Firing discipline. Okay, we lost that. I'm fine with that. If you guys can retreat. 
retreat. Alright, farther down, that would be perfect. So Athens has fallen. Luckily though, we have taken two of the smaller provinces. Splendid. Got a couple of little islands blockaded, but that's fine. There's nothing we're gonna really worry about too much. We actually might though. We're unfortunately gonna get that 9k men together. Got some of our forces intercepted there. As much as I want to finish off the fight at Rhodes. Ooh, go to port. Go to port. Go to port as well. Come down here and we're gonna try to deal with this. Okay, I don't know in what world 30 is even remotely going to be a close battle against the 16 fleet, but sometimes the game really just makes it want to seem like an enemy with such long and underdog chances has even a remote shot. in our navy and that was a great huge battle over against not that big of a fleet but that is fine. Trying to see what direction they're headed. We perfect we got the right direction. Okay and we still have a fleet now. So yeah so they're going back down. One thing I don't like about very kind of inconsistent, at least to me. So they, they're stuck there for now. One of them's going up a little bit. We're gonna split in half here. Up our ships. Yes, this should intercept. Yeah, I'm gonna intercept both of these larger fleets. We can get some of this financial pressure. That's a lot of money. Another victory, which is great for us. We're going to come back south and intercept them once more. There's got to be a time when they're going to eventually just run out of times they're allowed to run away. And it's just not yet, apparently. It's not yet. So we're able to destroy part of the Navy up there. Ooh, we need to get these guys over here as quick as possible. There goes the other set. We need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Because we can trap them. Completely trap our enemy here. As this is the war goal, we should be okay and should be able to win it out then. They're still taking some time sieging that down. This army's probably gonna come to Sparta, try to siege it out. But luckily that should be able to siege out up there. We're sitting okay-ish at manpower. Somehow they're able to sit a death stack on top of a city like that and not lose ridiculous amounts of men. I'm not sure how it's quite fair, but the game Sometimes it just really makes it easy for the AI. I'm guessing this is a fortified city, okay? So we are sieging this one out. I don't think Helicarnassus, or however this is supposed to be said, is. Nope, it's not fort either. None of these are forts except for Nilus. It's looking good for us. Where it's looking bad is back on our home turf. Sparta is being besieged right now and we have a huge death attack over here. But we are... Okay, why not split the path? 
All these men are super loyal to him. He's very loyal, but his army won't split up, which sucks for us. So now we are still negative 25. I'm not sure how that quite relates. We haven't lost really too many battles. Lost a combined two, maybe. At least once we siege the Frog Guy, how we say this? a little bit easier for us when it comes to expansion. I'm thinking operation action. If only they were willing to let me give them military action, they could come in here and kick at least a little city state right here, which is just enough havoc that could really help me. Unfortunately, though, it is not happening as it is right now. So they have just taken that city state, which is not good news for us. We did take Kinbos. Kinbos. So we are sieging out their core province. And pretty much we almost own the entire province. So I, I don't really don't understand this game sometimes how. I'm losing the war. I get I'm not drastically winning, but there's definitely so we gotta look at this as a cost. Um, ooh, the commander has nine. It's not great. Out of there in time. If not, this is going to be really bad. What's in Sparta for? But Sparta is probably actually going to fall. This war has definitely not been the most kind to us. That's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen in a million years. What we need to do is drag these armies south away. to siege out all of Ionia. They caught us again. I'll let them siege out Olympia. The only thing we can do is hope that we win this battle here. If not, it's going to be really bad for us over here in the main part. And unfortunately, they're not joining up with us, so that's just one of our ones. We some reinforcements, but they're not going to be there, so we at least survive this battle.
occupied, but it's not showing any. Yeah, oh, is it because it was the same color? It's like so faint, I can't even see it. Ah, oh, this is not great. Not great at all for us. doing great on our home front at least over on the eastern side we are doing pretty well as far as surviving what we could do honestly since we have the war goal is drag a lot of the forces over though here and we cannot let them go away anywhere. What we can do is probably split this in half, throw the other half over there, and transport this army back over here. for us, but it at least makes it manageable, um, though manageable is a harsh word because it could change rather quickly if we're not careful. I want to bring this other half of the navy down here. I'm hoping these guys can blockade effectively enough. I want the other half to get as many admirals and stuff as we can. We need to maintain our siege is back to zero war score, which is better. Not great, but better than what we had. I have a stark feeling that these guys are coming this direction. Um, which isn't bad. Oh, they have to get through that fortress real quick. So that's probably going to save us. That'll allow us to re-siege out Sparta. And kind of buy us some time here in the south. That'll give us two more forts. There we go. That is Sparta back to us. What we're going to try to do is navigate these guys all around here. 
uh, hopefully retake the western side. And I'm going to leave a ship over here because I want them to try to take this little island. And if they try to take the little island, we should be able to force them to stay there like we did with Rhodes. Let's see if we could get anything out of this. Why not? stuff I would love to take these little city states on and take them out but I don't think it's going to work for us we need at least 10 so we might be a ways from that unfortunately uh, luckily we will get that fort which them occupying our four lands is not really us getting some big captures on them seemingly detrimental to them. Okay, we'll just move these guys over, see if we can get them all over there. They do have a stronger army than us, and we could always kind of flee back to that little island if we stay over there. If we didn't have these, this issue in roads right here, I would say we could always just take it on the other. So that should flip everything. We're gonna have the march to the island. Exactly what we want. We're going to march on them as quick as possible, see if we can catch them. Go to Victorious, pushing these guys off. We'll go to Samos, the island. We don't have enough forces to push us off there. We cannot get these islands in other areas for some reason. Let's reset, see if it. maybe make Rhodes a client state? Okay, that would work, and I actually don't mind that. Having Rhodes as a client state might be a good thing for us. Can we get anything out of this? Uh, we might not be able to get anything out of this. Other than that. But I mean, Rhodes is a good haul. Ooh, we can get at least the city state. Um, and we are in I just need out of this war and out of this war quickly. Getting roads is enough for me. I would love to get other things, but it doesn't look like that's going to be achievable. Also, I think this is going to be the perfect place to stop the video. We were able to 
get roads as a client state. So that's a nice big little client state slash vassal we have now over here in the Eastern Mediterranean. It'd been nice to full annex them and get maybe a little bit more, but that's enough. I can live with that, um, especially because the situation was not going well over here in the West. But it was still a victory that we pulled out. So let's see how we can expand next time. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Ilias Leonidas. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like if you want to see what we do next in our expansion of Sparta and hopefully our entire conquest of Greece and one day achieving the achievement of taking Parapolis as Sparta. Uh, please subscribe to see what comes out on the channel next and anytime I add a video. Well, I'll see you guys in the next part. Ciao for now.